under this blue, let's have it right, up the chill, up the middle, to see, let's go. Oh, Johnny's got the fucking minerals, mate. <laughs>
You fucking lied. These are not even the gaffer's signings. Who goes and backs the gaffer to sack him seven days into the win, seven days into the fucking season? And you're trying to tell me and convince me that these signings are Thomas Tuchel signings. Bullshit. <clears throat> I'll start off now congratulating my gaffer for everything he's achieved at our football club. The memories that he's brought me and all the fans at our football club, bringing us those two stars, Super Cup. The Club World Cup, we've never won, and he won it. He took a dysfunctional squad full of fucking shit players and he turned around and won the Champions League with them under all the pressure. He had a rat cement buried fraud come in who he never fucking wanted, another sign he didn't want, and he handled it amazing. This gaffer went through our club, the only club in football history to be sanctioned. He brought us through it. He backed our club. He protected our club. He got us top three to be in this Champions League that we're in now. These owners come in now. And they never had in their mind to back Thomas Tuchel. It was all part of the plan. Let's get the fans on side. Let's show that we're backing Thomas Tuchel, even though we don't want him. And we don't think he's the right man for the job. This is very concerning, people. And I'm hearing tats of Graham Potter. What the fuck has Graham Potter achieved in his footballing career to come to Chelsea? You're going to go and get a Pochettino bottle job? You're going to go and get a Zidane? Zidane ain't coming here. Who's in the pipeline? I'd love to know. This gaffer deserved time. You outright lied. Fucking liars. Let me run through the comments very quickly, people, but I ain't going to be too into the comments. I'm not going to... I'm not in the right frame of mind to just fucking go through comments and shit. Big up to everyone that's in here. Most importantly, like and subscribe, guys. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Like and subscribe, people. Yeah. Big up to William in here, my member. Toxic fan base put him down. I think uh, Todd Bowley listens. So yes, he does. Yes, he fucking well does. And Rory Jennings, you fucking little rat. Yeah. You little rat. You're part of the campaign against Chelsea. You started this effect. People in the fan base with their platforms. You're all fucking agenda merchants against Thomas Tuchel, but you don't want to come out with the chest. You rather do it all nice and sit behind the fucking fence, yeah? But I see every single one of you. You're all full of shit, and you feed into this poisonous toxicity, yeah? The fucking media have got everything they wanted. We have now lost an elite manager who we could build a dynasty with because of the campaign against Chelsea because of all these wrongings in the game. This is what they've done. This is what they've done. It's unacceptable. We all know who the two collators are. We know who they are. And I've named and shamed every single fucking one of them. You got no respect for me whatsoever. Your opinion means fuck all. It's just follow the narrative. And I saw Murphy on TalkSport. Oh, I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked, smiling. You ain't fucking shocked. These guys have been planning this. They've been building it. I wouldn't be surprised if Todd Bowley's been using the fucking media to try and build this pressure on Thomas Tuchel to make it look like he's lost it, he's not getting the results, and we sack him. That's the fucking minerals right there. Don't fucking tell me shit. I know what I'm talking about. And they use these fucking puppets and the media platform to orchestrate this shit. 
How can you just sack a legend like that? And don't tell me it's about the result because it ain't about the result. All these, this, this fucking, what's his name? Rory Jennings. Didn't make one video about us winning against West Ham. He comes out straight away when we lose. Two out. He's got to go tonight. Fuck off. Yeah? Fuck off, you plastic. That's what you are. You're a fucking plastic. You're a fake fan. You rather do videos on Arsenal and Liverpool, you mug. You got no fucking loyalty to our Chelsea. You're just a clickbaiter. All these other accounts, I've seen you all, the Ninis, the fucking Matisse, the fucking Mizzes, all these fucking guys on, the, on their platforms. Oh, I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. Oh, really? You shocked, yeah? You're shocked, are you? Don't make me laugh. You actors. This was all premeditated. And the fact that these signings now, we know are not Thomas Tuchel signings, is worrying. What the fuck does Bowley, without a football director, know about these players to sign these players? Explain that. And you're going to go and bring a manager now and you've gone and spent 270 million. You should have done it earlier. Bowley, if you had the big bollocks, you should have done it earlier, mate. When you're in the transfer market and build around a manager. But do you know why you didn't do it? Because you didn't want to disrupt the fan base. Because you know the fans love Thomas Tuchel. And you wanted this momentum built using all these platforms Sky Sports, Talk Sport, all the media platforms to generate this whole fucking projection of Thomas Tuchel under pressure, spent money, results not looking good, players losing the dressing room. And don't get me started on the players. I'm going to fucking call out players. I'll tell you that now. I'm going to call out players. Let's have it right. Yeah. This is a disgrace. This gaffer, this gaffer will always have my love and respect. Just like a back front Lampard. Funny enough, the two collators, the majority of them, all right, why didn't we give Lampard time? Why didn't we give Lampard time? He deserves time. Lampard deserves time. Roman's an embarrassment. Roman's weak. He's got no backbone. You fucking rats. Yeah, let's have it right. I wanted Lampard back. He deserved more time. Did he get it? No. This gaffer comes in, wins and brings the fucking minerals, lands the trophies in the cabinet, and you lot are quick to say, no time for, for Tuchel. Let's get him out. Campaigner against Tuchel. Tells me everything I need to know about you as fans. You ain't fans. You ain't fans. Big up, Aiden, George, and our new owners have a lot to answer for the scumbags. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Because their true narrative, their true agenda has been revealed today, guys. It's been revealed. And some of these players who the fuck do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Player power, is it? Player power, you should have been out of our football club a long time ago. A long fucking time ago. Abamyang. Do you think Tuchel's going to go for Abamyang? Did Abamyang look like he wanted to play yesterday? No. Did Sterling look like he wanted to play yesterday? Passes he didn't make, he should have made, didn't make them. Ziyech, didn't give a fuck. Pulisic, doesn't give a fuck. Kepa, doesn't give a fuck. Jorginho, probably in a fucking strop. Kovacic doesn't look himself. The only two players I saw in that pitch perform and tried to pull form was Rhys James and Mason Mount. They fucking tried. And Kai. Where was the rest of them? Where? 
And it's not just about that result. They played on player power. This is the old regime. We're not under the old regime, but are we now? Are we an immediacy club? Let's chop and change, sack the managers. Let's get rid of the fucking elite manager and get someone in with inexperience again and start the whole fucking cycle again. Do you think Graham Potter's going to want these signings? Do you think Zidane's going to want these signings? Is Pochettino going to want these signings? You don't got a fucking clue what you're doing. You don't know because you ain't got a football director of football. You're from fucking baseball. And you're trying to fucking pull off these deals of players that the gaffer doesn't even want. Because the logic and common sense tells you if you're backing a manager, you buy the players that the manager wants. You don't go and buy the players that he wants and then fucking sack him. How does that make any sense? You back your manager and you say, if these certain players are not fucking happy, then put them in the fucking reserves. You're the gaffer. We back you 100% and they need to earn their stripes. Did they do that? No. They didn't do it. So it tells you they didn't want Tuchel. They didn't want Petr Cech. They didn't want any of the old regime. Tuchel is part of the old regime because he was employed by Roman Abramovich. And Todd Bowley wants to make his mark. And he's just done that with no fucking thought process. It's shoot and think about it later. It doesn't work like that, Chelsea Football Club. It doesn't work like that with the fans. What are you going to do about it? Don't tell me. Don't do not tell me that the campaign against Tuchel and the campaign against Chelsea that fed into that campaign were not used by the ownership. Do not tell me that. Big up Chelsea old boys. My geezer, they took our Tommy T, bruv. They took our Tommy T. All the agenda merchants. You ain't got nothing on Minnows FC. I will fucking always call you out. I will always call you out. I will always be here. No one's going to fucking move me, son. Yeah? No one's moving me out of this shit. Monster. What are you doing, geezer? Tweeting Lukaku pics. What the fuck is that about? Your stinky agenda with your fucking toothpick green man. Fuck off with all that shit. What's Lewis doing? Tweeting Mount out and all this shit. Get him out of the club with Pulisic is it. How fucking dare you fucking even put Mason Mount's name next to those fucking two cunts. Where's your fucking respect? All you tossers. Oh, hold off the contracts. Hold off the contracts. We'll, so, we'll sign Reese James. Hold off the contracts off Mason Mount. Where's your fucking, you little rats, you all agenda merchants. Fuck off the lot of you. You all got underlying agendas, but you don't look at the bigger picture. You don't look at the root of it. Thomas Tuchel, all he wanted to do was manage a fucking football team. That's what his job is. His job is not to be a director of football. His job is not to get hounded 24-7 by fucking Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital asking about this and that every two minutes because they ain't got a fucking Scooby what to do. If Todd Bowley was fucking intelligent as a, bil a billionaire, and I'm sure he is, why didn't you plan a football director before you fucking bought the club? Why didn't you have that in your locker? No, no, no. The deal is, buy Chelsea Football Club, make sure we get rid of the elite manager. That's the deal. So that Chelsea can't build. Manchester City keep going. Liverpool keep going. Man United building. Arsenal building. Everyone's building. But let's keep Chelsea there because they got the money. And now we've gone and put 270 million in fucking what? In what? Koulibaly had no legs yesterday. Fafana, what the fuck is going on with Fafana? Thiago Silva is there. We don't concede these goals. The attack didn't give a fuck. The players didn't give a fuck. 
Player power has to stop. It only happens at Chelsea like this. And it's not good enough. This DNA is fucking still there and it needs to be ripped out. Pulisic and Ziyech, you fucking look at yourselves in the mirror. Yeah? You look at yourselves in the mirror, you fucking sulkers. What have you brought to our football club? What fucking minerals? What great play have you brought to our football club? Fucking piss poor. You should have fucking left. Terminate your contract if you want to leave. Do you know why you don't? Because you want the fucking money, you mercenaries. Yeah? Kepa, you want to leave? No, you want your contract, mercenary. Don't talk to me about that. These players, they're not fucking good enough at Chelsea Football Club. They don't deserve to be at Chelsea Football Club. Bowley didn't get rid of them because he's not backing the manager. Do you think that McGaffer wants bad eggs in his fucking dressing room before he started the season? No. I told you lot, it was bad news you keep those two players. Fucking bad news. You got one on the other hand who's Captain America and the other one's a Lukaku spawn. This guy's carry on Lukaku's fucking great legacy at Chelsea Football Club. Big up, Fat Baby. Big up, Johnny. Liverpool fan. A terrible decision to sack Tuchel. Loyalty and patience has gone out of football. Where's patience, bruv? Where the fuck is patience in this game? You've just walked in. You've just bought this football club. You've walked in. You've got a fucking talented squad. What? Because Tuchel said no to Ronaldo. Man United would never sell fucking Ronaldo to Chelsea anyway, you mugs. What's Ronaldo going to do? He's not even playing at Man United. Because you, I want the I want the big players, I want the star superstars, I want to be the big daddy, the big bollocks in the game. Fuck off. What's all this nonsense? We ain't in American baseball, mate. It's about what you do on the pitch. There is no patience in football anymore. Klopp and Pep have had time to build their fucking teams. All right? They didn't get top four. Klopp didn't. Klopp didn't win fuck all for four years. He got the time. They spent the money. Where's the same energy for Chelsea Football Club? You know what, yeah, Bowley? You can't take not a fucking penny out of our football club for 10 years because of Roman Abramovich. And I know that hurts. But at the end of the day, yeah, you have to stick them back. This is a reprocess. This is a rebuilding process. We've got fucking players from five years, five previous managers. It takes time. You just got rid of all these players. And what did you bring the gaffer in? All defenders. All defenders. Blaming it. Oh, we didn't go for a midfielder. We didn't go to the... Fuck off. Blaming it on the gaffer. Nonsense. Big up to you, Fat Bailey. Uh, fat Baby Geezer. Big up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see this guy. This guy went on Talk Sport and I mudded the prick and he knows it and he cried about it. Why are you trying to ruin my reputation? Why am I? I'm getting because of you. I'm getting all this hate. Oh, you fucking cry, baby. Because you're a two quid gender out merchant. Just like Rory, just like all of them. You just don't do it with as much chest. Yeah? You don't do it in a chest, mate. You do it the pussy way. We got Aaron up the minerals, up to you, up to you as well, Geese. Up the fucking Chelsea, yeah? Because Chelsea Football Club without the fans ain't fucking that. It ain't that. It's, we're the soul of the football club. We're the soul and heart of the football club. Without us, you ain't got that. And you treat us like this and you fucking get rid of our manager like that because you always wanted to get him out. Big up, Johnny. Sacking Tuchel is a disgrace and ludicrous. What are we go What are we going to do now? I'm still fuming and you're still fuming, bro. We need someone who can put this club in place and win trophies. This is a problem, geezer. You know what I mean? You're going to get a Graham Potter. Fucking 
Graham Potter, bro. I've seen numpties on Twitter tweeting pictures of fucking Potter, bruv. Graham Potter, he's at the standard of our football club. What's this guy done? You ain't got the pressure at Brighton like he'll have at Chelsea. Different fucking level. Pochettino, he's gone to PSG, did he even win League One? Where did he get in the Champions League? The guy's got fucking ballers there. What's he done? Bald here Spurs. And these fucking idiots in our fan base calling for these sorts of managers. You've sacked a manager when there's no other managers out there. Who is out there in the, in the world now? Tell me. This one hurts. This sacking hurts. Just like when I lost, we, we lost uh, Jose Marino. This is the vibe I get with this one. This one fucking hurts, yeah. Lampard hurt me. That was the second, second knife, yeah. This one's just fucking, that's it. That's it. Fucking joke. It's all about in the fan base, it's all about being right. Where's the patience? Where's the trust? And the players, certain players, fuck me, certain players. And I can single out Pulisic and Zich. They both openly wanted to fucking leave our football club. And they're still here. And they came on yesterday. The performances were fucking shocking. People coming at me about Mason Mount. Look at fucking Zietz's performance. Look at those two free kicks. Why did you talk about Reese James being a captain? Why did you fucking knock him out, bruv? And say, so I'm fucking taking the free kick. Fuck off, Zietz. After that piss poor free kick. Look at the way you're playing. No one gives a fuck, bruv. Where's the fucking mentality? Where's the minerals? Well, you're bringing a new manager and everything's all rosy and we're going to try so hard. Where's that, you fucking piss poor letdowns, man? You letdowns. Fucking letdowns. No, Matisse. Tuchel was not the problem. The problem was the new ownership coming in, bruv. And not deep down, not wanting Tuchel. And Tuchel knew it. And it proves to me that all these signings are not his signings. Where the fuck did they decide to buy these players? Desperation. Desperation, bro. The problem is that unhappy players, and I said it from the start of the season, unhappy players are bad eggs. And we all know how it turns out. When you don't have unity in your team and in your squad, just like what Tuchel brought when he first walked through the door and we won the fucking big ear trophy, the big daddy trophy. I haven't seen it since. Roman brings that cement booted rat into the football club and these people have the cheek to blame Tuchel on Lukaku. Fuck off, you agenda. You're all full of shit. Lukaku's a rat at our football club. He can't play possession football. He's got cement in his fucking boots and you lot are still propping him. Disgrace. Fucking disgrace. That's how I know you're a Tuchel out of, bruv. If that's you really, Matisse, if that's really you, bruv, finally Tuchel's out of our club, what is that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean, Giza? You're always a Tuchel out of then? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, what a shock. What a fucking shock, bruv. You lot, yeah, all your Roman Abramovich mentality, yeah. 
You ain't got a fucking Scooby, bruv. You're all spoilt, mate. I was here before Roman era, bruv. Yeah? I know what it's like. Yeah? But you lot, all in the Roman era, fucking wishy-washy, bruv. Wishy-washy. Bet Top Bailey wants Pulisic. Exactly. Didn't get rid of Pulisic. He was the one that stopped Pulisic from leaving, knowing that the gaffer don't want him, knowing that the player wanted to extend his fucking contract so they could get loaned out. That's how desperate Pulisic was to leave. And Todd Bowley stopped it. That tells you everything you need to know. It's all about the fucking money. That's what it's all about. It's not about backing the manager. That's all gone out the window. And today proves it. Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the day, bruv. What did he put on his Instagram? What was it that he put on his Instagram? Big up, Sebastian, to you, Giza. What did Fafana's Instagram... Let me look at Fafana's Instagram, bruv. Let me see this fucking nonsense, bruv. Nothing, bruv. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Has he deleted it? What did he put? How can you sack a manager seven games in? Seven games in, you spent 270 million. They used the media. That's what they've done. They done. Don't tell me that these platforms and the media don't have power <coughs> because they do. They do. Big up, uh, Dar Square. Obviously a gooner, yeah? If it helps, mate, we're all pissing ourselves. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you're all happy. I ain't fucking laughing, bruv. I ain't laughing. It's a mockery. Look how long it took Manchester United to get a Ten Hag manager. And we've just gone and fucking got rid of Tuchel like that. Like it was nothing. So he deleted his uh so he's deleted his post, has he? So he del he del why did he delete it then? Why why would you delete that? The Matt the gaffer's been sacked. I know for a fact Reese James, Mason Mount. Um you look at um the new signings, yeah? They all wanted to work for two call. Yeah? The other lot, fuck knows. Listen, let's have it right, Juggernaut, yeah? Why am I... It's not conspiracy, bruv. I'm telling you the fucking facts, bruv. And two quite crap manager. Name me a manager that's come in in four months and won, inherited a squad, a dysfunctional squad for that matter, and won the Champions League, then gone on to win the Super Cup, Cup World Cup, go through sanctions, injuries, COVID. A, a, a hundred million pound signing rat in your football club and still get you top three and still win you two trophies and get you into two other finals. Name me a fucking other manager that's done that. There ain't one, son. So don't tell me that Tuchel's a crap manager because he fucking will ain't. Big up, Luca, in here. This team... The team photo last night smoked a thousand words, a thousand words. Right, let me get up some stuff now. Um, my brother sent me some Matt Law shit, all right? This guy's come out of the woodwork all of a sudden. Quite a shit for the whole transfer window because he got done by the Kunde deal because he outright lied, like all the other brown envelopes. Now, all these brown envelopes are getting their payouts now. I'm sure Bowley's sending them right now as we speak. Pigeons are flying them right now, yeah? The, the job is done. You've built it up enough, so it doesn't look like We've just sacked him by coming in. No, we've given him a chance. Yeah, yeah, results ain't going too well. Oh, things behind. He's lost the dressing. Fuck off. Nonsense. All built up, mate. All built up. Right, so. Um, let's go to. <clears throat> let's go to. Let's go to the first one here. 
Tuchel's irritated demeanour did not discourage some views within the dressing room that out of favour players would be more likely to outlast the head head coach. This is the, the this is the problem. You got these players that are unhappy that want to outlast the head coach. Well, let's have it right. Kante's probably going to leave. Jorginho's going to leave. Kovacic will stay. Mason Mount's going to stay. Reese James obviously staying. Yeah, the new signings are going to stay. But what happens to Ziyech's, Pulisic, Kepa? What happens to these players? What's Kepa doing in the dugout trying to give instructions to Kai Havertz? What the fuck's that all about? Yeah? That's what we got a gaffer for, mate. Maybe if you'd done your job yesterday, you should have fucking stopped that going in. If Mendy was there, he would have saved it. No, but everyone wants Mendy out. Maybe Mendy's unhappy as well now. What the fuck's going on? Once you have one bad egg, it reeks. And another one comes along. And then another one. And when you outright know that two players want to leave, three players, Kepa, want to leave, they want out of the football club. Yeah? That's where it builds. And then they know they can't get out of the football club. What happens? It builds and builds and builds and builds, builds. The aura around the dressing room, shit. The gaffer hasn't got all the players together. And if you don't have unity, you don't have team spirit, what the fuck are you going to win? You ain't going to win a game. And it's proven it. Owners wanted a new culture at Chelsea with the manager taking a proactive role, which Tuchel did not, did little to show he could fulfil. A new coach. So they're telling me that the gaffer ain't got the right, the right tools and skill set to build the right culture and brand of football. A football club is bollocks. Demeanor and attitude of Tuchel behind the scenes was his downfall. No, mate. The downfall is you not giving him what he fucking well wants. A hundred days of working together gave owners doubts their relationships would, would last long term. Well, you never had the intention of lasting it long term. This is This shows that. You just couldn't go out there. The owners couldn't go out there and just get rid of the manager straight away. What does that look like to the entire fan base who love the manager? What does that do? You can't do that. So this is the perfect route. This was the perfect way to do it. Tuchel did not like the increased involvement in recruiting, constantly complained of Czech League. Yes, because Czech was the... The middleman to the board, yeah? When you don't have a director of football and you're putting it all on Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel's not a director of football, you mugs. What planet are you on? You fucking knew this when you bought the football club. And you're putting this onus on Tuchel. Unlike that, Tuchel was a particularly enthusiastic member of the WhatsApp group that was set up to improve communication, discuss transfer targets. Who gives a fuck about your WhatsApp group, bruv? Call him, mate. Tuchel spent the entire journey back after the 4-0 Arsenal deep in his thoughts. Well, that's just a stupid comment. But at the end of the day, everyone could see that we weren't prepared for this season. Everyone could see that things behind the scenes weren't right. But that's not down to Thomas Tuchel. That's down to the board not doing their fucking job. Look what they did on transfer deadline day. It tells you everything you need to know. Abamian, bruv. Fucking Abamian. Owners want a coach they feel comfortable bouncing ideas off. So, they weren't comfortable bouncing ideas off. What ideas you got, Giza? You're from American baseball. What fucking ideas? We ain't got time for ideas, mate. These should have been drawn up when you were talking to Rain, ready to take over our football club. What fucking ideas? This ain't a storyboard, and let's fucking see what we can bring off it and sit there. What clown shit is this? Tuchel prefers to be left to work and solve problems on his own, not in line with Bowley. Well, Bowley wants to be the big daddy. He wants to walk around the town and fucking say, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the big boss. I'm the gaffer in town. I want to go and take the Premier League out for a meal. All this nonsense. Does this geezer not realise that the entire Premier League, FA, Europe, UEFA, all hate Chelsea Football Club and you want to sit down with these mugs? The gaffer understood it. The gaffer knows about the culture at Chelsea. But this new owner clearly doesn't. I'm sick and tired. This is the same old shit. Round and round and round again. Same old bollocks. 
And now we've got to start again. I mean, that is hilarious, geezer. Shit club, no history, fuck your club. I could probably tell you what, about 12, 13 years old? Um, where's your European trophy, my son? Where is it? Where's your cabinet full of European trophies? Or you want to go back into World War Two after World War Two and all your fucking before the Premier League was officially the Premier League, bruv. Yeah? Don't talk to me about history, you mug. Potter is coming in. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, bro. We've gone from fucking Thomas Tuchel to Graham Potter. Thomas Tuchel to Graham Potter, bro. And we and they've signed Billy Gilmore. <laughs> Dolly, you fucking what are you doing, bro? At least if you know you're bringing Potter, keep Billy Gilmore, you fucking idiot. What are you selling for nine million? What fucking joke is this? This is embarrassing, bruv. You've sold a player and loaned Colwill to a manager that you're going to go in a point now after sacking Thomas Tuchel. What is this? This is a fucking joke, bruv. What confidence am I supposed to feel with that? Someone explain to me the logic there. You know you were going to sack Thomas Tuchel. Don't tell me you were doing it just after the transfer. You've been planning this to get rid of him, right? You've been planning it. But then you go and loan Colwill and you go and sell Billy Gilmore for nine million knowing you're going to bring in this manager is, is disgraceful. There's no logic there. Because if Potter's coming in, he's going to play Billy Gilmore. You fucking embarrassment, bruv. Hold on, I need my, my throat is dry. I can't, mate. This is fucking embarrassing. I'll tell you what. I'll be at Fulham away. That's going to be fucking entertaining as fuck. He's only lost 16, 16 matches. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, everyone in here. Yeah, I have to laugh for a second because I can't, bruv. I'm fucking raging, bruv. I'm fucking pissed off. Like and subscribe, people. Like and subscribe. I don't know who I want in charge anymore. I don't, I don't fucking know. Do you know what the problem is? Is the people that are in charge and own our football club don't even have a fucking clue who they want. They don't even have a clue. They don't know what they're doing. I knew it. I fucking knew it. All these media brand envelopes saying, oh, no, he doesn't want Neymar. He doesn't want Frankie de Jong. He doesn't want all these players, all these fucking... Listen, the gaffer would have had Marquinhos. He would have had Neymar. He would have had Frankie de Jong. Do you know why Bowley ain't got the fucking minerals to go out and do the deals, bruv? Couldn't do the deals because he doesn't know how to do the deals. Yeah, great meal, wonderful food. Fucking, it's all show and fucking nonsense, bruv. Even that lorry fucking... Lenin's, bruv, yeah, he came out and was coming at the gaffer last, uh, the, the, the fucking Bowley last night. He was coming at Bowley last night as well. The agenda on this geezer.
Big up, Steve. Johnny, I'm without words for these scumbags, especially Mr. Rory Jennings. He got his wish, but more than that, after after living in the US for 20 years, my fears of no loyalty come to bear for fuck's sake. Listen, I told everyone I'm the only one on this entire platform, on any Chelsea fucking platform, any mainstream, I am the only one that called out that prick. I'm the only one with Tony as well, after me, he did, yeah? But I'm the only one who fucking started this shit. I called you all out. Every single one of you, I called you out. All of you agenda merchants against against Thomas Tuchel. I called every single one of them out. You're absolute a cancer to our fan base. You need to be cut out. Yes, I have kept it real since Lukaku. Look at all these agenda merchants coming, trying to blame old oh, airs. Bring Lukaku back. You fucking idiots. You've got no loyalty to your football club. You've got no loyalty, mate. There's no loyalty. Where's the loyalty from Bowley to Thomas Tuchel? What he's achieved? Name me another manager that's going to do what he's done in a short space of time. Name me him. I would love to fucking know in history who's done that. You've just outright embarrassed our football club. You've made us look like clowns. We don't know what we're doing. You fed into the campaign against Chelsea. They got what they wanted. I told you lot. I told everyone. there is a, the, the campaign against Chelsea do not want Thomas Tuchel in the job. They don't want us to build under elite manager. What did we have? We had a, uh, uh, an owner with money ready to invest and back what we're told. Back Thomas Tuchel. We got Thomas Tuchel. A great combination. Look at the, the, the fucking prop for Man United. Look at all the prop. Liverpool are fucking struggling. No one says fuck all about Liverpool. Nothing at all. No one says anything about Liverpool. It's all about Chelsea. They've spent this. They've spent that. We're rebuilding, you wankers. We're rebuilding. You can't do it in one window. We've bought defenders in that we've lost. We've bought a Sterling. A Bamiyang. We would never look at Bamiyang, bruv. Panic. Panic buy. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a cancer to the fan base, Rory Jennings. He'd rather do videos... Rather than us winning against West Ham where we brought the minerals and we dug it out, he'd rather do a video on um, Arsenal, Man United, Liverpool, and then he waits for us to lose because he didn't do one video about Chelsea. Not one fucking video you did about Chelsea, yeah? Only seven games after Roman left until this happens. I know Russia killed Ukraine in February. Todd has no experience in Chelsea Football Club. He doesn't have any experience in football, full stop. And it is showing. And it's very concerning, people. It's very, very concerning. That this guy has put us in this position. It's fucking embarrassing, bro. This Thomas Tuchel, yeah, is proper Chelsea, bruv. Yeah. Proper fucking Chelsea, bruv. Yeah. And you got spawns of 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 just shit coming at the gaffer. So called Chelsea fans. This gaffer was one of us. He went through it all with us last year. The worst time to be a Chelsea fan. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget how the brown envelopes and the, the campaign against Chelsea was at its pinnacle. They all wanted us to, to get liquidated, go into administration, be fucked. That's what they wanted. And the gaffer pulled us through it. He went through it all. And players in our squad, certain players are a disgrace. 
A fucking disgrace. You're professional footballers. You're paid hundreds of thousands of pounds a month, a week, whatever. And you go and do this? You're a fucking footballer. You're paid to do your job. I did a video. I said, put your agendas aside. Back this gaffer. What did you do? You did the fucking complete opposite. Get them out of my fucking club. Get them out of my club. I am a believer in backing whoever comes in. Whatever manager comes in, I'm going to back it. Doesn't mean I agree with it. I don't agree with this decision. Fuck no. Everyone, the real fans are shocked. The ones on the platforms ain't. Tells you everything you need to know. Tells you everything you need to know about these people. They've been prodding and prodding and prodding, criticising. Oh, I'm criticising. I'm criticising. Oh, oh, I'm allowed to criticise the guy. No, you're not. You're creating a narrative. You're creating the whole process of doubting Thomas Tuchel. Is he the right man for the job? Buying into the mainstream media because you all want to be on those fucking talk sports. You all want to be on talk Sky Sports. Jimmy Mark Goldbridge, a Nottingham Forest fan. He's a fucking... Fake United fan. Flex, he's a Spurs fan. They're all going on there like they're the fucking United fans. You've got all these fake pla fake uh, faces representing certain football clubs and they're not part of it. They're not part of the real fans. They're part of the campaigns. They're part of the, the agenda, the media. Because they're, they're basically puppets. It's what they are. They're told to say what they've got to say. They're told. Big up Dinesh and Inia. I feel like crying, Johnny. No way they sacked him. He was in a process. We have snakes and fans like Rory need to be banned from the club. No way. That's fucking. Very spot on there, uh, uh, William Mitchell. Todd Bowley, yes man, coming in. It's going to be the same old shit, guys. It's going to be the same old shit. How do you expect to build a future, a legacy, a dynasty, if you just keep hiring and firing? Where was the energy? Do you know what, yeah? Bowley wanted Ronaldo. Tuchel doesn't want him because he's fucking on point. What am I going to do with Ronaldo? And that's where it happens. Big up, human kebab. Lovely to see you in here, geezer. Big up to everyone in here. Every single one of you in here is like 500 people. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll tell you what, when this platform hits, hits a large number, because apparently, uh, in Nini's word, I'm just a small channel. And all the others, I'm a small channel. When it does grow, be very, very scared and be very, very worried. Be very, very worried, people. And you know who you are. Be worried. I actually think Bowley has, has used the media. They leak it to these fucking spawns in the game. And it starts. And that's what happened. And I called it out. I can't do any more than calling these wrongans out. That's all I can do. I don't have 200k followers. I don't have... I'm not on, on national radio. I'm not on these Sky Sports platforms. I'm not there. To be that person to defend my football club. 
So I've got my own platform and anyone who wants to be part of it, you're here. No, Steve, we, we, you misconstrue stuff all the time, yeah? I'm speaking for myself and my platform. Everyone else can say what the fuck they want, yeah? The only two platforms, myself, I started it. Tony's come on board and he's let loose about uh, all this agenda shit, yeah? Where else? Who else, bruv? Tell me who else has done it. What other fucking guys on their platforms have done it? No one. And I'm telling you now that you don't just sack a manager after this game. It wasn't about this game. This was premeditated. This was all planned. So they fed us bullshit that they were backing Thomas Tuchel because they weren't. So now we know that these signings are their fucking signings. Big up, Gary Line. You're hated because you are you are real up the Chelsea. Yeah, I am real, geezer. I am real. Everyone that's been with me from the start of this platform know what I'm about. They know what I've said. They know what I, I believe and what I've, I've called out. Everyone knows that. Anyone new in here, just go back and watch. I haven't been on this platform for long. I've, I'm in my ninth week of doing this show, of doing this platform. I am fucking raging. I'm raging. All right, let's get let's get Simon Phillips uh stuff up then. Let's see what, what Simon's uh saying, yeah. Fucking hell, bruv. Fucking joke, man. <sighs> Where is it? <clears throat> All right, here we go. They were like, oh, we'll listen to the fans. We'll listen to the fans. Yeah, we're going to listen to the fans. Yeah. The moment you listen to fans... You're, it's a recipe for disaster because all fans have different opinions, different ideas. So who are you going with? I'll tell you what fans you're going with, the so-called fans with the platforms. That's who you're going with because they got the following and they, they, they spread the narrative. Not the ones on Twitter and all these little fucking Twitter merchants. Fuck me. Fucking hell, bruv. <sighs> Brian give... Oh, it's just, just sickening, bruv. I'm told Todd Bowley and Beg Egg Barley have gone to have face-to-face -face talks with Graham Potter. So fuck off! Who are they listening to, guys? Who the fuck is advising them, Graham Potter? I want to know who's advising. You're telling me these two guys have got a scooby about what manager to recruit. Who is advising these people? I want to know. Who is it? They ain't got a director of football, so who is advising? Explain that to me, people. Who is advising these guys? Been in football for even a minute. And you're telling me, oh, yeah, yeah, Graham Potter's our guy. Straight away. Who the fuck is advising them?
Big up, uh, big up, Johnny. I feel sick. Never forget the gaffer. Never forget the gaffer, bro. Never. He's part of our history, mate. He is part of our history. Big up to Gary in here. Thank you very much. New my new member, yeah. Big up to you. People are moaning, yeah, on Twitter. Certain individuals who've got their own YouTube having a bitch about me having membership. Oh, people pay for membership. Fuck off. People want proper chills. That's what they want. They want realness. They want truth tellers. They don't want these fabricated bollocks. I can be a journalist. I can be a fucking writer. I can I can go on Sky Sports and, and talk sport and be part of the campaign against Chelsea. None of that wishy-washy shit there. It's here. It's real deal, mate. Big up to you, Gary. We should get sad instead of... But it's too late, mate. Listen, the FA don't want that. Of course they don't. They don't want that. They don't want that. No chance. What the fuck is this? Oh, reply. Okay. Um, let's go back. <sighs> Why Thomas Tuchel got football being played? Relationship communication breakdowns with players, owners. Many players were considering futures. Tuchel's energy change. He looked at walking. Looked at walking. Potter Poch uh, um, and more being considered. Listen, I could tell that the gaffer recently in his interviews, you could tell he was he was tired. But the guy's not had a holiday. The guy's sacrificed his own holiday, all right, to go and to, to prepare for the season and get treated like this. Fucking listen, two coffees he knew he's gonna get the sacks. So he thought, fuck it, whatever. Whatever. What can he do? Back my gaffer all day long. Backed him to the end. I backed Lampard to the end. I backed this manager to the end. I backed this legend of a manager to end. Yeah? There's a lot of people that can't say the same. <clears throat> Pochettino. Fucking joke, man. The decision to sack Tuchel is not to do Chelsea one 0 defeat. We know that. It's premeditated. It was all built up. It's all being planned, guys. Everything was planned, guys. Johnny, your channel is the only true property. Big up to you, Giza. The real ones get it, man. They understand. The real ones understand. Listen, these George Bensons got muddied and he watched himself being muddied by me, which is hilarious. So big up to you, Giza, but you had a Tuchel agenda and I know it, yeah? Daniel Childs, Nini, fucking, obviously, if that is Matisse in here saying what he said, yeah, I'll check it out later to find out. If that's the case, we know there's an underlying issue there, all right? We know that. We know Rory Jennings as well. We know all these guys, bruv. That Miz as well and all these fucking guys. They all got a fucking agenda, bruv. Every single one of them. All the guys on Twitter, all you large accounts, you've all got agendas, right? You've always tried to come at the gaffer. There's no loyalty, bruv. There's no loyalty. Fucking hell. What's he done to rat Tuchel out? Where I was disappointed is why don't he take the ball off Ziyech? Why are you fucking taking it? Why are you letting Ziyech take a second second free kick? If you're a so-called captain, you take that fucking ball, bruv. The problem we have, people, is that the 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 uh, Roman way, that mentality in the football club, 
with these young fans in the game, yeah, they're used to, when things aren't going well, to sack a manager. Because that's all they know for the last 20 years. Yeah? And unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. If you want to build, if you want to move forward as a football club, you've you've got to you've got to go through the rough times to get better, to build, to get to the to the to the glory. It doesn't happen overnight. What does Bowie think? Oh, Potter's going to come in, or oh, these guys are going to come in. What? <laughs> it just doesn't work like that. Guys, mod, sort out all the, uh, what's it called? The bots, yeah? Sort them all out. Who, mate? Call them out. Tell me. I ain't under attack. No one can attack me. I've attacked everyone. Anyone's... you got the minerals. You come on here. You George Bensons, you Rory James, all these fucking frauds, bruv. Come on here, bruv. Tell me you ain't got an agenda against the gaffer. <laughs> and you want to attack me. Oh, mate. Long way from Starbucks, you lot. Long way from Starbucks. This is correct, right? They had every opportunity to back the gaffer and create a good narrative towards the gaffer. What did they do? The complete opposite. That's why they're agenda merchants. That's why they're all about the clicks. That's why they feed into the narrative of the campaign against Chelsea. These guys are part of the campaign against Chelsea. There is nothing in favour for us as fans with these guys at Chelsea Football Club. There's nothing that's good that comes out of these guys for Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> this guy should have been given a whole year. The gaffer should have been given a whole year. And he wasn't. We need to get these brown envelopes out like Rory. All of them. They all need to go. They all need to go. And you know, I'm here to do it. You see, when you feed into this narrative, you are part of the narrative, but you want to mask it. But you don't fool us here on Minerals FC. No one fools us here, bro. No one fools us here. Big up, Matthew Harris. Best YouTube channel and best host ever than any rivals up the Chelsea. And big up, Johnny. Keep the blue flag flying high. Big up to you. Respect you, Giza. Thank you to all you guys donating as well. Big up to my new member as well uh, today. Uh, it's a very sad day for me at Chelsea Football Club. Oh, I'll be real with you. It's a very fucking sad day. Yeah, yeah, of course. Graham Potter's coming in. It... It was part of it. It's part. This was the process, guys. They've been planning this. But who advised them, Graham Potter? That's what I want. That's the answer I want. I couldn't give a fuck what the brand envelopes say. I want to know who advised them because they don't know. 
They don't know who's who's advising these guys. What that's the question to ask people. That's the question to ask. This is bad, man. Wrong move. Piss poor move. Wrong move. This is what I want to know, guys. Who's making this decision? Who's advised Bowley and Egg Barley? Who? Are we going to Newcastle, Amanda Stately, the wife of fucking Egg Barley? Who's advising them, bruv? Who? This makes me feel that this was in place a few weeks ago, happening really fast. It was. Exactly, guys. Exactly. Who is advising? Right, that is the question to ask, guys. And I've asked it on Twitter. I've asked the question on Twitter. It's either it's either after the Spurs game. Because the Spurs game, we played fucking great. We looked fantastic. So it must have been after the Spurs game. I don't know, guys. I think it's from the start. Potter, Potter, fucking Potter, bro. What? What? It was since the four nil to Arsenal, if not before. Listen, guys, like I said to you, right, don't tell me about conspiracy and shit, right? All right? Because it's the hard facts. Their number one intention was to sack Thomas Tuchel. But they couldn't do it at the start because it doesn't work with the fans. Now they have the opportunity. They've kept players like Pulisic and Ziyech, deliberately not getting rid of them when they want to go, blocking the moves to spice it up, to create a snowball, make players unhappy, and then the, play, the, the manager, it's deemed he's lost the dressing room and we get rid of him. When the whole agenda and the whole plan was to get rid of Thomas Tuchel from the start. This is on you, Bowley, Ekbali, Clear Lake. This is all on you. Trying to fob. You're not fobbing me as a fan. You might fob everyone else as a fan, but you ain't fobbing me off. No chance. Big up top bins. Unfortunately, this is the fan base now. They spot with success. And at the first sign of things not going right, toys out the pram. No long-term vision, you fucking wrongins. Listen, let's have it right. And at the same time, Tuchel knew. So he thought, what's the point? They're going to get rid of me anyway. Yeah, you can't bring, uh, what's his name, Pochettino. That's disgusting. 
Sacking Tuchel for Potter is fucking ridiculous. It is. It really is. It's fucking ridiculous. You might as well go and get Super Frank back. Get Super Frank back. Go and get Super Frank. This is the thing, El Padrino, right? This is the thing. Good career we bought. Colwell's loaned. Gilmore sold for nine million. And now we're getting the, the manager that's bought taking those two players. It tells me everything that Bowley hasn't got a fucking clue, bruv. Of course, I support my football club. What well, I'm not allowed to let out my frustration and my emotions. Fucking hell, bruv. I said earlier in the stream, whoever the manager is, I'm going to back it. But do I agree with the decision? No. Fuck no. Don't ask stupid questions. Big up Elias in here. Potter is a downgrade to Tuchel. He's made, Tuchel is fucking elite, bruv. Interesting. Very interesting. What's going on, JT, bruv? What's going on? Listen, the most the most important thing that they needed was a director of football and they didn't go and do that, all right? When you run a football club, you want to base it on Liverpool's model, City's model. What do Liverpool and City have in common? They've got a director of football. What's Bowley gone and done? <laughs> He's just gone and blown money signing players that Tuchel doesn't even fucking well want. He's, uh, whoever's advised him ain't got a clue. You know, <laughs> what are we supposed to go with here? How are we supposed to be confident? Another bullshit story, though. Another brown envelope story to feed, oh, yeah, we want to back two called The reason he didn't get his contract extension earlier. Listen, they put that out knowing they're never going to give him the contract extension. It was all bollocks. Don't think, all right? Just like Chelsea under Roman, they used journalists to put out information, all right? It's the same with Bowley. The Bowley's doing that. But he's doing it in favour of his decisions that he's making at the football club. And this one runs perfectly smooth. It makes sense. I'm going to go and assess all the other platforms. And I've seen, I've seen all, I know all their agendas anyway. It's not even any point, bruv. They're all full of shit. Uh, Hansi Flick ain't coming to Chelsea. He's not leaving Germany, bruv. And you want to go and get another German manager after sacking a German manager. It's just nonsense, bruv. Forget Zidane. Zidane had the Galacticos at fucking Real Madrid, bruv. Any manager could go in and win. And they own the Champions League trophy. So he was always going to do it, bruv. You know, let's not talk nonsense here. I know we're sanctioned, but the point is, you have someone in line. You know you're going to buy the club. Bowling knew he's going to buy the club. All right? They're always the front runners throughout the whole thing. So they knew. Go and get someone. 
have it in line, in place, so that Tuchel doesn't have a responsibility. They had no intention of building around Tuchel, guys. Todd Bowley had no intention of building around Thomas Tuchel. Fact. I was saying, bring back... Look, forget that. He's just talking shit. Doesn't know what he's talking about. He's just an uh, agenda. It's just all fucking... Oh, I want to be right about something. It's just waffle. Uh, Roy, of course he's smiling. He's a, he's a fucking rat. But listen, everyone knows he's a rat in the game. Everyone knows he's a sellout. And he's not proper chels. Everyone knows this. He's there for the clicks. He's there part of the agenda. His, his, his so-called love for Chelsea and being a Chelsea fan is gone, bruv. It's, it's nowhere to be seen. He came at Roman Abramovich. It's just all agenda, mate. I feel sick with these those YouTubers. Big up, Johnny. You made me feel secure after that news. Big up to you, Giza. Big up to you, Giza. Yeah, we love TT, but we love it. <laughs> Fucking hell, we haven't even just, we just started the season, guys. We just started the season. I just, uh, honestly, like, what is going on, guys? The media have won. The campaign has won in this moment in time. We have to stand together, guys, as fans. We have to stand up for this shit. I don't even think he wanted, um, he didn't want these players, guys. If I know TT wanted a Marquinhos, he wanted a Neymar, he wanted these sorts of signings, bruv. He wanted a fucking midfielder. He wanted Declan Rice. Didn't get anything. Didn't get any of these signings. Bowley's quick to flash the cash, but didn't want to pay the money for Declan Rice when it's clear as day we need a fucking midfielder. And you want to put all the blame on Tuchel about midfielder. Well, if you're so good making these decisions without a director of football, going for all these other managers and not backing the manager, buying these players, why don't you fucking buy Declan Rice then? How do you know about midfield? You don't even know about football. Who said this, brothers? Who said this, brothers? Can you tell me who said this? Big up CFC, big up to all your, big up to everyone donating. I'm not in the right headspace. Uh, him and Uber reunited, lasted so fast. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't even convinced, but Uber wasn't even fit to play yesterday. You saw when he went for that header and he, he just didn't go in for it because he's got his fucking jaw, bro. He's just... He's just
Steve, you're not listening to me or something. Uh, I, I don't understand what you're trying to say here, bruv. I've worked it out. What's happened? Yeah? Did I expect to get sacked today? No, of course I fucking well didn't. But the agenda was building. And you go, oh, leave Rory alone. Leave Rory alone. Fuck that, bruv. I'm coming at him full throttle. Full throttle. Bowley planned this, bruv. This all been planned. And now we're told that Tuchel's pleading to give him more time. It's fucking ridiculous. It's a joke. Guys, listen to what I say. Listen to what I say. I don't believe any of the brown envelopes. Whatever they're going to say is all to make it look like it's the right decision. I don't buy it. I'm not going to buy it. It's the wrong decision, guys, for me. Wrong decision. Anyway, whatever. It is what it is. The ownership have used the media. They've used the platforms. The pressure, spent this money, not playing well, boring Chelsea, blah, 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 all this shit. It's all built up, built up, built up, built up, built up. All right? Pressure mounting. And what did the gaffer actually get? He got the sack. Graham Potter meeting Bowley this afternoon and it's understood he'll be announced as the new manager before Fulham. Fuck it. Fucking hell. I don't believe they're his players though. This is the thing. They're not his players. It's, it's not, it's, it's not, you don't, you don't buy a manager players and spend this much money to then just sack him. No. no. I don't know anymore, guys. I don't believe anything anymore. Big up, Tommy. I appreciate this. Johnny, you remind me of Andrew Tate. I don't even know who Andrew Tate is, but fair play. It's how it is. Say it how it is. Everyone is going to blame you on, uh, blame, going to blame on you, but it won't be because you're real and people hate that lot of people hate. So that so you're a legend, mate. Up the Big up. I'm not a legend, geez. I just say it how it is. I'm just speaking for myself, mate. Obviously, there's plenty of fans. The real fans are upset, bruv. Of course they're fucking upset. Everyone's going to be upset. It's why I'm fucking pissed off right now. And I, I am upset and I'm angry. Yeah? But for me, this is premeditated. This was planned. 100%. And it came... From the media. And the media, as everyone knows, as a Chelsea fan, are part and are the campaign against Chelsea. So explain how it looks if Bowley just gets rid of Thomas Tuchel knowing he doesn't want him at the start. Everyone's going to go fucking ballistic. New ownership, what the fuck, all right? He hasn't done that. He's let these stories build up and build up. And now we're going to blame it on losing the dressing room. 
uh, disagreement. Oh, not getting involved. Not wanting to be a director of football. All this shit. Fuck off. I don't care, man. It's clear that they never wanted to back him. Because if you're really backing a manager, you back him. And clear as day, Tuchel hasn't been backed. And that's the bottom line. We were lied to. Another thing we've been lied about. There is something going on, guys. It's not right. Listen, when I saw the interview of the gaffer last night and he said, what, 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 how do you expect? He goes, I don't know. And then he says, no, we're not having a day off. I guarantee you. He would look fucking ready to go to war. And then you just go and sack him. Big up Dusty Roads in here. Remember when Pep turned us down due to managerial roller coaster? I do, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a season. We had enough last season. Now it's coming all this. Oh, I'm done with it, guys. I'm done with it. Listen, guys, uh, big up to every single one of you in here. Like and subscribe. Support the channel. Um, me, I need to... Um, I need to digest everything. Um, see what happens. And I will be back later on. I'm going to do another stream later. <sighs> Leave all your... Uh, drop your comments below uh, the, the video. Put your comments in there. Um, express how you feel. And I might open up the lines uh, later on and people can, can vent out because that's what it's about, yeah? We can all talk. We're not like these other platforms that don't let anyone fucking speak. Um, so people can come on, yeah? Um, as long as as long as I, I know who you are, and I don't get any idiots, yeah? No problem. All right? Um, but big up to all you guys. I'll let you know. Uh, I'll let you know on Twitter, um, Minerals FC, Instagram story and all that. I'll let you know when I do a stream later on and we'll see what news develops. But, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm very upset at the minute. Um, pissed is an understatement. Um, but obviously I want to congratulate my gaffer for everything he's done at at Chelsea Football Club, a, a true legend at our club. He's brought that second Champions League, the Club World Cup we never won. He's brought another Super Cup. He's got us top four. He's dealt with the sanctions. He, he's done it. Everyone knows what Thomas Tuchel's done. Everyone knows about what he he's delivered at our football club and no one can take that from him. The only person that's taken that from him, Bowley and the new, new uh, regime. So, um, Let's see what happens, guys. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I can't predict anything now. Uh, but all I can do is support my team come Saturday and keep going, guys. That's it. You know, let's see what happens. Whatever manager comes in, we've got to back it. Um, but it's fucking bad. Big up to all my new members. Big up to everyone that's donated to the channel. Thank you very much. Um, big up to every single one of you. Big up to everyone that's liked the video. Um, everyone that's subscribed to, to, the, to the channel. Um, everyone that's supported from day one. Everyone that's in here now. Um, up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. And, and guys, like, like I say, please put comments in. It's very important that you put the comments in. Um, this gaffer, fucking, what a gaffer. What a gaffer. Fuck's sake. He brought this second star. He brought this second star. Gaffer did. Um, so, guys, yeah, like I say, comments in below, like and subscribe. Um, up the Chels, up the, up the Minerals FC. Big up to all you guys. Uh, love to everyone. 
And um, let's let's just appreciate and give thanks to Thomas Tuchel. Yeah, big up to all you guys. Up the chills. Fucking minerals, mate.